Not me looking bald headed from the front. <laughs> y'all, why y'all can't see my braid? Maybe I should sit at an angle. <laughs> I cannot take myself serious. But anyways, what's up my PB Posse? It's your girl Deja, I'm back with the video. Now this video is gonna be another haul, try on haul, and yeah. I'm super excited because for those of you who watch my vlogs, and for those of you who comment saying that you're tired of me saying Faha or Waste Train Corset, this is not the video for you. But yes, for those of you who've been watching my vlogs, um, it's been super hard for me to find the right shapewear, but I did find the right shapewear that I am super in love with, and I do want to put you guys onto this because me personally, I feel like even if you do have surgery, or yeah, even if you do have surgery, you have to waist train and you have to compress because otherwise you're gonna be looking swollen, puffy, bloated, all that. Okay, and that's why I was stressing it so much in my vlogs. And every single day, I felt like it was a struggle for me to find the right shape where I was matching tops and bottoms, no faha, no waist trainer, nothing was suiting my body correctly, and I found the right brand to put you guys onto and yeah i'm just super excited so if you guys want to see the shape that i got <laughs> the waist trainers that i wear daily that i do recommend then keep watching this video okay <laughs> so yeah did i mention the shapewear brand name was fem shapewear it's super cute but anyways yeah i'm super excited to show you these pieces because y'all know i have a um a short torso in my opinion, I think my ass is up high on my back. And when I say that, I'm laughing because that's a joke. A high ass is mad funny. But anyways, I feel like my torso is this big. Like, this is my torso right here. Like, this is my torso. That's it. So, I felt like certain waist trainers would, like, smush my body down. And even when I would vlog, I would look back at my vlogs when I was wearing waist trainers and stuff like that. I felt like my booty looked like it was, like, suffocated like this. Like, it would look square because all of it is getting compressed down. And without it, of course, I don't look like that. I look like, you know. <laughs> it looks right. It looks proper. And I was so scared, like, oh, my God, I'm going to be wearing the wrong shapewear because... You know, a waist trainer, a faha, all that is supposed to be molding your body and you want to mold it correctly. So I did find some shapewear that I do want to show you guys. And plus, y'all know, like, I was tired of wearing my faha very early on. <laughs> so I started waist training super early. And yeah, I just want to show you guys my favorite piece that I feel like everybody needs to get right freaking now. Surgery or not, you need this because... It snatches you, okay? And the thing that I love most about this, it's not in no packaging because I wear this all the time. But the thing that I love most about this is the texture. Now, y'all know waist trainers and faha and all that stuff is like the latex material. This is no latex. When I says no latex, oh, it's going to mess up my hair. Oh, shit. But <laughs> when it says no latex, they mean no latex. They don't mean like no latex on the back or something like that it's really like this material that is just so comfortable i could wear this all day me personally i if i was to wear certain fajas or shapewears the latex part does like irritate my skin like really bad like so bad that i felt like when i if i was in the shower my skin would feel a little tender i me personally this may not happen to most people, but me personally, when it's, when certain things need to be latex free and they need to mean that, okay? Don't have latex around the edges because then this part starts digging in your skin. It irritates you. This material is so bomb, y'all. It's like a scuba material. I don't know if this is what they call it. Oh, a neoprene and nylon. This is what this is. And it's like, it's so fire. But anyways, the, um... It comes with the hooks on the outside. And the reason why I say everybody needs this is because it comes with the hooks. Boom. And y'all know most um corsets and waist trainers that come with the hooks, you just have this part. And then when you wear your clothes or your dresses, it shows. No. This actually has the zipper on the outside that's really undetectable. 
and of course this part will be like next to your bra or like by your breast so you really can't see it but this is so fine y'all if anything if if i i have to mention this first because yeah if anything you guys need this like and it's so crazy because i felt like if i didn't have surgery or anything like anything like that and i was like aware of waist trainers and fajas and all like shapewear in general underneath your clothes i probably would never even get surgery like <laughs> I would have been straight. Like, I kid you no lie. I would have been straight with just Fajas and waist trainers wearing that all the time, compressing and molding my body. So, yeah. Oh, my. Like, this is so fire. And I really wasn't aware that you could um, wear Fajas and waist trainers like that underneath, like, your clothes if you didn't have surgery. Until I started, like, having so many myths on Amazon <laughs> and having to send it back. But, yeah, I was looking at the reviews and I see so many women actually wear waist trainers and fajas without um without having surgery because they actually want to look snatched by their dress and that's so smart i don't know why i didn't think of that like i only thought like waist trainer when you work out like to be honest so i'm here to educate y'all and if you are a female that does like to wear shapewear underneath your clothes just to make your your, your clothes look clean because you know no lumps no bumps you know like <laughs> And this is for you. I'm telling you, this is so fire and it's so comfortable. But we got more things I want to talk about. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing that I also want to show you that I love, 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 love. That I was having a hard time with without them. Okay, now this is their thank you card that you get when you purchase. And it has a 10% off discount. But of course, I'm going to have my own discount for y'all. But yeah, this is so fire. Yeah, this is thank you, Femme Shapewear. This is their logo super cute but y'all remember when i told you guys that i was wearing my faha and the bottoms was just so big <laughs> because i had to get like a 2xl for the bottom but then the top part would be like a i would need like an extra small and then i had this bright idea like you know what you know what i'm gonna start because you guys know they have the um the shorts that come with like the little hooks I actually got the shorts and the top part, but then I realized that the top part was too long for my short torso, so it was a mess. But they have these, y'all. So if you have surgery, I was gonna mess up my light now. Fuck. If you guys have surgery, or if you don't have surgery, and you wanna like get this part of your back when you wear your dress, because don't get me wrong, sometimes if your um waist is really really tiny. And your upper body is not that small. It will like bulge. Now with these and with fives, when you wear stuff like this, it does hold the back fat in. And it also has like the waist trainer part that I love, y'all. Oh my goodness. Because y'all know like when I gain weight, I gain weight in my arms. And I feel like even like right here, like right here, that'd be my struggle part. So, when I wear corsets and stuff, I feel like I look mad big, like a freaking gorilla. So, this freaking actually compresses the back part and hides your rolls in your back. Oh, my goodness, y'all. This is fire. This is fire. And it's just like this. Just like this. Just like this, y'all. Like, a shirt. But, of course, your boob part is out. <laughs> you can't wear this on a shirt, but you can wear this underneath your clothes. And it actually... I actually recommend this a lot more if you are like big at the upper parts of your body than a uh, freaking what is this called um a corset so yeah because it does flatter you way more you don't want to be like mad big and then waist real small and then your bot bottom's real big that's never a look okay but I like this even like now I feel like when I get dressed, I always want to wear like a corset or like some type of shape wear underneath my clothes because I feel like it makes you look so much better, like way better. Let's move on to waist trainers for those of you who don't want to do all the hooks and crooks and zippers and all that. You just want to like, to, to, you know, Velcro it up and then call it a day. This is this part is for you, okay? My fault, y'all. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all the name of the stuff. So that was a neoprene vest in black. And I got mine in a size small. Now I do wear a small or extra small. But you do what you want when you pop it. Okay. So I did try to freaking put these things. 
back in a way so that it looks presentable because I have been wearing them. <laughs> so next up, I have the double Velcro waist trainer in gray. I got it in a size small. Now, y'all, this is one to... <laughs> Let me try to show you guys. My fault, y'all. At least y'all know I really was trying to wear this stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. And you guys see how when I say, like, it fits right. Well, y'all gonna see it on the tie on portion. I don't know why I'm tripping to show you guys what it looks like. But, yeah, so that's the back. This is the front. And it comes with a zipper. Boom. And you know what I love about this brand, too, is that the Velcro is heavy duty. Like, you could wash it and everything. And this is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, it's no latex. Like, literally no latex. But it's like, it's so sturdy. Like, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they did it, to be honest. Like, I don't know how they did it. And don't get me wrong. When I say I love to wear shapewear, if it has latex in it, I cannot be committed to wearing that all day. <laughs> and I would feel so bad because I would be like, you know what? Like, my body needs to breathe. Like, my body needs to breathe. My skin needs to breathe. Especially, like, if you're moving around and stuff with something that has latex on, you're getting hot and sweaty. Your skin is going to get irritated. Well, definitely for me, girl. I'm speaking for myself. So, this material is way better. Like, I would not lie to you guys. And y'all know, I don't try to push out onto nothing. Like, if I was wearing this brand and it had latex in it, I would not be raving about me wearing this all the time. Because I just can't. I can't. I cannot, I cannot to wear something that ever takes my skin all day, period. Like, I don't care if that was the only thing that was made. I would be walking around here with, like, not compressing or nothing. But y'all yeah, know, like, it was a struggle for me. I really was on some shit, like, I only want to wear the best of the best, good quality, and I want it to work, period. Like, period. <laughs> like, it's no sugar coat and nothing over here, okay? So let me show you the next waist trainer. Okay, so this is the belt neoprene in a size small, and the color is red and black. Now, this one, this one right here is my best friend, okay? This one right here is my best friend. You guys are going to see it in the try portion. Look how small this is. And when I say small, I'm not talking about, like, tiny waist small. I'm talking about, like, width small, like this. Y'all. It compresses the right amount. Like, and sometimes... All right. Okay. Like, say for instance with this one. I love this one because it has the double straps. And right here comes down a little bit longer than the waist part. Like, let me show you. Oh, my fault, y'all. I'm terrible at this. But y'all gonna see in the triumph portion. Like, oh, I'm not sticking to the other one. Okay, yeah, I see how like it comes down like this. This one is super good if you have like a fupa. Like <laughs> it helps the fupa area like right here, like right here. But this one is my favorite because it literally just goes right here, boom. And it just makes, it looks so good. Like y'all gonna see in the triumph portion, but this is so fire for when you like, <sighs> When you just want, like, oh, I can't explain. Like, it just, it just, it's literally just waist. Like, just give me waist. Okay? It has one strap. That one has two straps. So, I feel like it's like, boom, boom. Like, you, you, like, you know, bulletproof vest. This one is, like, sturdy. Like, sturdy in the center. You could move around. It looks good. I like this one. This one is fire for me. This one, personally... Like, for waist trainer, it's so easy for me to just throw on and call it a day, y'all. I can't just show... Y'all can see in the triumph poster. Fire. Fire. I'm not really a red and black person. And it's so funny because me and Bird were just talking about that, too. Like, red and black really isn't our thing. Like, it's really not. But, you know, if you guys like red, they have multiple colors and all that. So, yeah, and this is in the size small. Okay, so the next one is the one Velcro neoprene and black size small. Now, as you guys saw, the red one was very small. 
one strap the gray one was two straps but it, i felt like it's like a v to cover the fupa this is like a perfect in between okay so you guys see how it comes down like this like you can see it more in the back because the back is like like higher as you can see that's what i love too like i feel like it compresses like it really like shapes you to where it goes down like this and back up like, I feel like my, even back here for me, no fool, y'all. Yeah. All right. Back here for me is literally like just this. All this is butt. Like, my butt, butt, butt's really, really starts right here. So, all I got is this and this. I feel like this hugs me in the right spots to where it's not making my ass look like a freaking square. You know, like, or like. Like a grandma body. I don't know. But I promise you guys. I, those of you who wear shapewear. Y'all know. If you guys have a high ass like me. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. And yeah. This is per this is perfect in between. If you have a small torso. I recommend the red. Okay. If you have a. You know. Some people don't want to admit it. But sometimes if you keep wearing a waist trainer that isn't long enough for your full pot, it would begin to like, you know, puff up like bold because you literally like pushing all your fat down there. The gray one is fine for you. Now, if you want both, but you can't really choose between the two, then I go with the black. I'll definitely go with the black. But I know a lot of people like the double strap. So I love the double strap. Oh no, yeah. Like it's so hard to recommend, but I do think that all these is like essential, especially like, and I'm just talking about waist trainers, okay? When it comes to waist trainers, that's what I'm talking about. Waist trainers. Now, corsets, I think you need both. I think you need both, to be honest. To be honest, you need both. If you have a long torso, I think the gray one is for you or the black. If you have a short torso, then a red one is for you. Now, if you have some, a fupa, then you know, like, then the black one is for you. If you want all three, then you do you one. Okay? I'm going to have all the links and um, discount codes and all that stuff in the description box below. And, yeah, that's really it, y'all. My fupa was looking small head boy at this whole video, but y'all don't care. And, yeah. I'm about to be up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys like trying on hauls, if you guys like shapewear videos, and all that. So, yeah. Comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys can notify every time I do post. I do post daily uploads at 4 p.m. Eastern time. And, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have a nice day.